we're going to demonstrate how to use the Heron Series 1900 Water Tape Water Level Meter. The water tape was designed for price conscious buyers that need to work within a certain budget and still have the premium features of our other units such as electronic signaling. This unit has white poly tape reinforced with Kevlar. It is an economical option for drillers and hydrogeologists needing to detect water levels in wells, boreholes and standpipes. This model was designed to compete with other industry standard poly tapes as an option to our more popular steel coated tape units. Let's go over the features, advantages and how to properly use the water tape model. To protect the water tape and for ease of transport in the field, the unit comes packed in a free backpack carry case. Not only will it hold your water level meter, but there are pockets for the laptop and notepads. Now we will go over the different features of the water tape water level meter. The powder coated steel frame with the vinyl holding grip is strong and sturdy and easy to hold. The nylon fiber composite plates are installed on a center hub with stainless steel ball bearings. This allows for smooth movement while reeling the tape up and down the well. Between the two plates you will find white polyethylene tape. The tape is reinforced with Kevlar through the center for extra strength and to eliminate stretching. The tape comes in either metric or imperial markings. The imperial markings are an engineering scale. The tape has a dog bone profile, meaning that it's rounded on either side and flat in the center, which helps eliminate sticking to the side of the casing. There is a shear pin style linkage above the probe, which will break away if your probe gets stuck in the well. Better to save your more expensive tape and lose the probe both of which are modular and replaceable as shown in our parts list. The built-in hanger and tape guide is an ideal solution for hanging your unit on the side of the well and for protecting your tape from the sharp well casing. On the back of the frame, you will find the brake knob. Loosen the brake when you are lowering the tape down the well. At any time you need to stop the tape, simply tighten the brake. You will also find the testing posts. Before you go out in the field, we suggest testing the unit to make sure everything is working properly, including the battery power level. Hold the probe tip to the center shaft and the body to the screw at the same time. This will complete the circuit, sending the signal from the probe up the tape to the electronic panel. The buzzer will sound and the LED lights will turn on. We suggest you always carry an extra 9 volt battery in your backpack, just in case. Features of the electronic panel. The electronic panel is modular and removable in case it needs to be replaced. The circuitry on the back of the panel is encapsulated to protect it from water and the elements. The 9 volt battery is easy to change by simply sliding out the battery drawer. There is an audio and a visual signal when the probe touches the water. There is no on and off switch. The water is the switch and the signaling will occur on its own. If there is any cascading water in the well, simply adjust the sensitivity dial until you get a clear, crisp, consistent signal when the probe touches the water. There is also a mode change button to put the unit into drawdown mode. This is a great feature for pump testing. The water tape comes with a fully submersible, permanently affixed, modular water level probe. This probe is used to detect both static and drawdown levels. When you lower the probe into the well, the unit will start to sound immediately when it comes into contact with water. Please note that you need to have both the stainless steel end as well as the start of the probe body submerged in the water. This creates complete contact with the circuit and activates the signal. The probe body is the start of the first foot or meter mark. The zero point starts here. When you're in the field, hang the unit on the side of the casing. Then run the tape over the tape guide and not on the edge of the well casing. Lower the probe into the well. The unit will start to sound on contact with water and the LED lights will turn on. 
The reading on the tape will provide you with a static water level. If you would like to do drawdown calculations or pump tests, lower the probe to the desired depth shown on the tape, where you want to pump the water to. The meter will be sounding. Tighten the brake. Then push the mode button once and the meter sounding will stop. The unit is now in drawdown mode. Turn your pump on and start pumping out water. Once the water goes past the probe, the unit will alarm and sound with the absence of water. Drawdown mode will help you calculate well production. Push the mode button again to put the meter back into static mode. Since the water level meter probe is manufactured to be fully submersible, you are able to find the full well depths, providing there are no obstructions. You would simply lower the probe to the bottom of the well, and when you feel the slack in the tape, note the markings on the tape for your measurement. So this is how you use a Heron water tape. 